back folks, this is lesson 144 I think and it's a, a nice simple scene for you this, a, a typical Norfolk scene uh, this, in this miserable November day, it's, it's absolutely awful outside my studio there and uh, I thought well we, we'd, we'd put a touch of spring into it shall we and uh, it's a, just a simple scene, there's a bit, a bit of a, a farmhouse here uh, there's, there's a road coming into it and round behind the farmhouse and a, a touch of bushes there and a, an oilseed rape field there and one behind it and some trees behind there and, and I, want, I want a, a dark sky, a threatening sky which, which is nice and that, that, that'll contrast with the, with the lemon on there so we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go shall we we'll just, we, that's in my mind but uh, whether it's on paper or not I don't know there's our colours, raw sienna or ochre Ultramarine burnt umber and cadmium lemon. So let's get that out of the way and see where we go from here. We've got our picture. Let's, uh, let's, let's get comfortable first. Put a bit of water onto the sky there. Put some raw sienna into it. And then it's, as I say, it's a, it's a, it's one of those days when it, it, it's going to rain. You, you can tell it's going to rain. It's, it's in the sky. It's in the stars, if you like. So let's put this is ultramarine and, and, and burnt umber mixed into this. Blend it in with it. Let's take this sky down to the, the horizon there. Number twenty brush this by the way, folks. One of the cottages and the chimney. <laughs> Do you know? Hello. Can I ring you back? I'm, I'm just recording. Okay, mate. Okay, I'll ring bye you back. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go down to there and just a bit rig it down to there. Run the chimney pot. Just that little bit in that corner there. Hopefully. Now I've collected quite a well in the bottom of there and I don't like that so I'll have to get that out. Let's dry my brush and hopefully pick some up with this. Get the worst of it up. Because you're working at 15 degrees towards you, see, you, this, you, you want it to come towards you. So I'm, I'm not complaining, don't, don't think that, it's just that I, uh, I get a number six there, I just missed a bit. Number six brush, 
just put the screen just there if I can that's better more of a, a straight line there so the the sky is it's threatening because there's still a, a, a chance of uh, some some something happening. I put a bit of a draw in of this to show a bit of sunshine and that, and we'll have some uh, some light coming from uh, let's see now from the right I think. So that that cloud there is, is going to want some some shadow into, into it, isn't it? Just to sort of soften the. It's up on the edge of that, sh that cloud there. It's only a small one. A little white cloud if you like. One just there. I'll do a little bit of work on this this one here as well. I might darken that to that horizon a bit as well, down here. That's where I'm going to get most contrast, isn't it? Made a threatened, threatening cloud right close to the horizon there. It was too pleasant before, it's, it's going to be nasty. I might even add to that later, but we'll, we'll see. The, the sky's not too bad. It's, it's not too, not, not too nice now. So it's uh, it should do its job. Let's just uh, pop that down. Take the well out again. So with my brush then it slipped. Not to worry. What's what it have? Dry that now. Right, that's dry now. So let's uh, let's. I think I'm, I'm going to put some of this. There's a, there's a bit of a, a a bank here behind this here in, in grass and grass and on on here. So let, let's just get rid of some of this first. Mind the part of the bungalow there. I mean the farmhouse. A bit of green down here.
This comes down to the, the edge of the, the path coming into the past the farmhouse. I'm going to strip a bit around here as well. Let's go around the back. And the, the path itself, of course, is well. I'll, I'll put a bit of dark in there just to to darken some. Of, there's some bushes at the, ed the edge of the path there, so that that's all. Which the light's from the right, isn't it? So we're going to get some darks from down here. Strong light on this. to that. Right, and while that's drying, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put a, a, there's a, a line of bushes and that in, in, on the horizon there. So let, let's drop that in just about here. It's going to be dark because there's a dark sky and it's in the distance, of course. Right, that's out of the way. I think we'll do the... We'll do the path next, get the path in. I'm painting the path at uh, Raw Sienna. So let, let's get some touch of that raw sienna. That's we'll, we'll give a nice base colour to the, the path there. Of course, it's, it's, it's usually a bit it's a stronger in the foreground, isn't it? Like this. This is burnt umber I'm putting in here. Slip a slip a touch of that ultimate and burnt umber into the bottom as well. The strokes are directional, you're in perspective. So that's leading the eye into your painting. Around that corner. Right, I think next, we'll tackle this, this farmhouse next, shall we? And I'm going to use some. Uh, Burnt sienna for the roof. Pantal roof it is. You don't need a lot for this. And that's looking just as though B and Q have done it. They took it in a whole week, so a home base or somebody. Tiles down that side of course. Don't forget them. Q 
chimney pot. Right, and this little roof as well, don't forget the, the lean to, or the extension. If you're posh, it's the extension. Towers down that side. No chimney. I want to darken this now a bit just with the take the newness off it. It'll be sunlit, so, so don't don't darken all of it. Just 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 stop it looking like as though it's just, just been built. The sun's catching it from top top right, isn't it? So I'll give it a chance for that. And let's touch on the little extension down here. I mean, if you felt the urge, and it was, you could even suggest a bit of tail work on it. And perhaps a ridge on the top. I'm, I'm going muddy over a bit. The ridge tail on the top there. because they do have them. Right, uh, I'll put a few windows in there while I'm at it. Don't be doubt about these riggers, you know, the, the, they make these ridges. Uh, it, they're a bit too springy and a very dear, dear friend of mine who died recently, Terry Harrison, lovely lad. I spent many, many a night eating and boozing with him at these shows. Uh, he, he did a, he used to sell brushes to everybody. He was a really good salesman and he, uh, he had a, what they call a half rigger, and do you know, he, he gave me one, and that, that, that half rigger, I've, I've lost it somewhere, I don't know where it is, but it, it, it's half the length of a rigger, the, the brush bit, and it's, it's, more, it's more stable, you, you can handle it better. It's, it is re, re, a real, I'm, I've been tempted to cut one of these in half, the, the, the brush end, you know, and see, see, uh, see if it works. I haven't got around to it yet. But I miss Bill Terry, the lovely lad he was. I had many, many a happy, happy time with, with him and, and uh, well, I mean, and, and Charlie Evans as well. Char Charlie was a, a big friend as well with them. I had some good times. I'm not saying Charlie's dead, no, Charlie's still alive. <laughs> but poor old Terry is. That's not very good, this brush, I'll tell you. I'm trying to show you that the, 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 the loop of the pan tiles underneath, but I can't. Let's try this. I'll put a door in there. Get rid of that damn thing. I'll cut that in half and I'll try it. I'll also see if it works. And I'll have a, a nice little door in here. I'll have a red door in, that's my touch of red in this one. Just here. There 
hit it, the red door, that draws the eye to it. I might put a bedroom just above that, just above that lean to as well. Put a way out of the bedroom up there. I bet that's where the en suite is. And of course, these, these they, they look a lot better. They, use, they, have, they have a dark bit in the top there. Just, if you can get it in, just. So uh, set the root, the door into the into the building. Instead, it's just painted orange now. But if you just do this, it sets it into the building itself. Because the light's from the right, isn't it? So you get a shadow under there and shadow under that one. Apart from that, should be all right. Put another window in here. Over the expense, we'll have a window just here. This brush is no good either. I must get, get rid of some of these brushes. I keep putting them down and picking them up again, and it's a mistake. I'm Yorkshire, but I don't like to throw anything away. have no windows in the end there because normally the, the farmhouses don't, don't have uh, windows in the end facing the facing the, the winter of that side that that keeps the the farmhouse warm right next job i think we'll have a little bit of a hedge in here uh, uh, show much so I'll put a dark one in we'll have a dark edge in there separate of those two fields. Come in front of the, the farmhouse there. And down to the down to the corner of the house there. In fact I might put some up here as well. That'll do with that. Uh, let me see now. We'll, we'll block that white in now because that white's a nuisance. It's and I'm going to paint that with cadmium lemon. Fields, fields across here with oilseed rape on them.
Such a vibrant colour it is. We'll have a touch of uh, what a del and this a bit touchy green in the front here. Let's just, let's just get a brick on that. Because when you get when you get near to when you get to see oil seed rape in the foreground, you, of course you, you're going to see the green as well in in, in amongst it. You, you never get it just yellow straight all the way down to you, down to the foreground. So you're going to get that that sort of sort of effect there. Right, we're dry there now. Let, let, let's. Well, what I'd like to do is, it's, it's put a hedgerow in between this these two fields here. Then you can just see the second field, and they'll separate it with a, with a, another hedge just here. Don't don't put robins in and things like that. You know, just it's just a a separator, and it gives it gives your painting a little bit more depth because you you, you the eye thinks, oh, what's in that field? You know, and what's in that field is what's in this field really, but not not to worry. So that's that's separated down down to there. I might put a, put the a, a feature bit in, put a. A feature sort of a, a bit of a dark tree here. And I can also uh, strengthen this 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 green in the front and just just. It's softened. It's softened into the uh, in, into the dryness as it's dried. So I want to sort of emphasise some bits of green down here. We lost. We lost the green, if you like. You get the edges of the the Aussie rape. Just, just a bit. Right, I want a tree in it. I want a tree behind that 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 cottage, isn't that farmhouse there now? And it's going to be a dark tree. And I'm going to use some uh, Windsor blue green shade. If you want a really dark tree, Windsor blue green shade mixed with some burnt umber. It might sound a strange combination, that, but it gives you a juicy, juicy, juicy green. I'll tell you, really. I mean, I'm talking about super duper jeans. So let's 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 first let's frame this this farmhouse with it, shall we? First, start. Down a bit. 
tricky with the chimney. I'll put boom tree on the, the horizon here as well. Bit of a hedgerow down here. Let's put a, a few branches in, shall we? Just to sort of hold the tree up with a few branches if I can find it. Just, just something some that you can see. That's enough. You can see it's a tree now. Do I need another tree somewhere? I wonder. Sorry, the, I'm, not, I'm not happy with the, these these edge rows here. I'm going to sort them out now. That's the next job. A decent green in there. This is uh, cadmium yellow, and some. Winterbrew red chair. I'll try that first. See if that's all right. And re reinstate this 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 hedgerow here. That's better. It's a bit bit lighter, a bit brighter. Right, people. Uh, let's put a, a Fred and Mabel walking down the road towards the. It, it could be a pub, this, you know. <laughs> anyway, they're, they're on the way, so. Let's pop Fred in. Don't draw him, just paint him. Then you're not having to follow any lines, are you? Just be able to have him on a diet, so he's not, not not looking too too chunky this time. He's got his hand out like that. And uh, I think, yeah, we'll have Mabel in next. Mabel, that'll put, it'd be nice if she had an oilseed rape jumper on, wouldn't it be nice? For a change. Smaller than him. But beautifully marked she is. There she is. Lovely girl. And I think we've got to put her on. Clutching his hand, like they do, before they're married. Oh, look at that, that's a romance for you. Let's put on some trousers on now. One of the people complaining. Well, they've got these, these, fr fr <coughs> they've got these trousers as a matching pair on Black Friday. Which is just gone. Fred's, Fred's been her dad. He's, he's, he's really smooth. He is Fred now. He's a real, a real killer. I wonder if we could get some trousers painted on. That's better. Snake hips. There he goes. Oh. Matching trousers. She's more delicate than him. Dark on that side. Away from the light. Fred is out. Uh, Sicilian descent. Oh, look at that. Looks like an apro. Not to worry. He's not, he's, he's, just a, he's just a normal lad. We know Mabel is a redhead. 
dark red area. They're determined to get that pull. Right, just have a look now. <coughs> dry, dry, dry the people. Well, tell you what about for that. We, 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 intended to have two people. We'll have, we'll have somebody working in or working in the field, or stood by the farmhouse there. That's been nice, wouldn't it? Uh, and of course, these, these farmers they, they don't dress up in posh clothes. They they're, they're have something workmanlike on, don't they? You have a oh, let's see. You've got some brown overalls on. There he is. I don't know what you're doing there, no, do I? Turn that bit up if I can. I'll put another person talking to him. How's that? In blue. It's tiny, these folks. It's a small piece of paper. I tend to do it this size for my lessons. The amount of paper I'm using. That's better. We can see where it is now. Putting my head on as well. This this lady here. You got to be careful with these figures because. Uh, they've, they've got to be small enough to get through these doors and these windows, you see. So uh, she's small there, talking to this one, talking about the price of potatoes. And Fred Mayer was on the way down the road for. Got to do another, another one somewhere. Where's it? Where could he be? We're riding a camel in that field, but no. We, 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 he could be working on this. He's working on this hedgerow. That's it. That's what I do. I'm putting him in there. I think I'm in a dark suit, but uh, it doesn't seem to show up much. Put them in a, a light red. This is the, it's like a tan colour. I want to have him standing against this. Here he is. Busy working in the field like that. Put my head on. Just there. So he's, he's, he's doing something anyway, whatever he's doing. He's got his arm down here. We'll, we'll put, some, put in something in for him to, to, to pick up, shall we? He's got to pick this thing up here. It's, that's it. Have a look at the sky, is there anything that's dodgy in there? We could put a bird in. So I'll look around and see if there's a dodgy bit. Put one in there, that looks alright, just there. It's a goal, that one. Right, I'm looking for things to do. Now, some more shadows. We need shadows now. That'll round it up a little bit, won't it? Shadows. And a good shadow colour is the colour we always use. That's a French ultramarine and the burnt umber mixed together. We'll give you a nice shadow colour. Right, the light from the... the from the right, isn't it? So we're going to get shadow on on certain things like uh, 
this, this end panel of this 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 building here, the farmhouse, that that's going to be in shade there. What that immediately does, if, if you notice, it makes that white even whiter because it's got a dark against it. Same with this, this, this small lean too. That'll be in shade. And that makes that land stand out as well. That's got a bit of a, a shadow under there, you see, under that rooftop, because you see it on that side. And under the the eaves of the the pantile roof there, it'll have a shadow under there. Right. We've got a shadow on that chimney pot. So we've got a shadow on that one. Now whether it... No you wouldn't. That that will probably no it won't. Let me think it think it through this. You'll cast a shadow of this block here. There's a bit of a shade down here as well. Shade across there. Across the road. And the house makes. That'll make a shadow on turn that roof will be like that on there. Like that shadow there. Uh, Fred and Mabel, they'll cast a shadow, won't they? Across here. Uh will we get any more shadows here, just a minute. Probably get some dark on this 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 bush row here, yeah, that, it'll be dark here. It's away from the light, isn't it? And, and now I'm starting to look for things to do, and, and that is not a good idea. Fiddling now, fiddling. That's not a good idea. So let's close it down a bit and put a bit of a bit of a mount on it. See if it uh, it, it ties all the rubbish up round the sides and uh, see if it looks any better. Well, that's it for today, folks. That is our lesson 144, and it's the the farmhouse and the old seed rape with a strong sky, a, a, a dark sky against the, the, the lemon of that gives it punch that's what you need punch and some dark bushes here and a dark tree behind it and that the, the concentration is is the light on that 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 face there on that face and everything's subordinate to that so i well i enjoyed doing that but uh, if you enjoyed it please please uh, give us a like and a subscribe and uh, i'll see you on the next lesson so until then folks it's goodbye bye bye folks